Hey guys, in this video, I will discuss does a washing machine need GFCI and some frequently asked questions. Electricity is essential to our daily lives, and we cannot overlook that it is full of potential danger. Ground fault circuit interrupters were introduced to lessen the risk associated with electrical mishaps and make their usage more palatable. So, with washing machines dealing with water and the risks of electric shocks increased, does it require GFCI? Welcome to HomeGuideInfo.com. Disclaimer, this video is only for educational purposes. We don't provide any expert advice. Without further ado, let's get into this. The washing machine outlet itself does not require a GFCI. This is because the National Electrical Code doesn't stipulate protection for washing machines in a residential area. However, a ground fault circuit interrupter is needed in laundry areas. This is stated in the National Electrical Code 2017, Section 210.8 of 10, all 125 volt, 15 and 20 amperage receptacles installed in laundry areas shall have GFCI protection. When did laundry room require GFCI? The 2005 edition of the National Electrical Code was the first to necessitate ground fault circuit interrupter in laundry rooms. It stated that outlets or receptacles within 6 feet of the laundry sink should be GFCI protected. Initially, the protection of receptacles in wet areas began with the 1971 edition of the NEC. The locations requiring ground fault circuit interrupter protection have gradually increased with the augmentation of the codes every three years. In 2014, a new National Electrical Codes was introduced, which mandated GFCI-protected receptacles in the laundry room. The 2005 edition of the NEC mandates using a GFCI receptacle for a washing machine only if it is within 6 feet of the sink. The 2014 adaptation mandates GFCI protection for the laundry room. A further modification in 2017 requires that all 120-volt receptacles be GFCI-protected in laundry areas. Modern homes have three circuits supplying power to the laundry room. Can a washing machine share an outlet with a gas dryer? A designated circuit powers a washing machine. This means that a washing machine can share an outlet or a receptacle with a gas dryer. However, you cannot share a washing machine outlet with a 240 volts electric dryer. A designated laundry room circuit of 120 volts and 20 amperes could function for single use. Note that this says single use and not a single appliance. Single use in this context refers to common use, such as laundry use. Hence a cloth washing machine could share a receptacle or outlet with a gas dryer. Though a cloth washing machine can share an outlet with a gas dryer, it should not contain other electrical equipment, even an electric 240 volts dry wire. An electric dryer that runs on 250 volts is incompatible because it requires a four-prong, special appliance cord and a 10-gauge three-wires cord. It is stated in the 2008 edition of the National Electrical Code, 210.10 degrees Celsius two laundry branch circuits in addition to the number of branch circuits required by other parts of this section. At least one additional 20 ampere branch circuit shall be provided to supply the laundry receptacle outlet required by 210.52. This circuit shall have no other outlets. You could not share the laundry circuit with any other area. However, the circuit can have multiple receptacles to power various home appliances and devices. In the end, although using electrical appliances in a residential setting is common, we should not ignore the channels through which energy flows to power up our everyday machines. Instead, we should look at the physics behind our appliances. But, of course, with greater understanding comes preventive measures to lessen the risks of damages and mishaps. This is more so for electrical appliances like washing machines near water, which is an excellent conductor. Hence the mandate for installing and using GFCI as a protective measure against ground faults, shock, electrocution, and damage to lives and properties. Alright, folks, that's all in the video. See you in the next one. If you want to hire professionals for any housework, a link is in the description. Get free quotes from your local experts, only available in the US. If you want to read a blog post, you can visit our website, a link is in the description. Please like, share, subscribe, and help us to reach a new audience and grow our channel.